Welcome back, you beautiful people. Welcome to Whistler, BC in Canada. This is Lord of the Squirrels epic ride, and I'm pretty much at the top of my descent. But it didn't start here, did it? It starts all the way down there, and I am pretty much at 1,800 feet. Well, well, let me just stop myself right there. It is not 1,800 feet. It's 1,800 meters. That's a big difference. It's going to be a hell of an epic ride. Right, there's no more mistakes. Let's crack on. So, oh man, this is an epic ride for sure. familiar with Lord of the Squirrels is basically set on the west side of Sprout Whistler Mountain. It's a hand-built descent, primary trail, but to get to the top of Lord of the Squirrels trail is no easy task. For me, I hit the Mystic Trail all the way to the top and it was brutal. It was brutal. I'm going to say it again. It's brutal. It's brutal. Oh, my thighs are on fire. So the route I took to get to Lord of the Squirrels, I jumped onto into the Mystic, then I jumped onto, onto the rocks, and then I got to the top of Lord of the Squirrels. So the total climbing that I'll be doing today on this trail is 5,250 feet and 5,250 feet of descending, which I cannot wait for. The trail rating is a blue descent, but the trail rating for the climb is a black diamond. It's not for the faint-hearted. Them fishing, fly fishing, the dream. Hi, right. it starts. This is Joe, Joey, eh? And he's the cameraman. As you can see, he's riding my Canyon Talk. Big travel, <laughs> big travel bike. All the way to the top with a camera bag. And me on my hardtail. Absolute trooper, Joey is. <laughs> Absolute trooper. Anyway, this is the start of the climb. Oh, we've passed three lakes. Now we're getting to the top. It's hot. <sighs> but this is where the adventure starts. At the bottom. All right, let's crack on. Slowly. Oh, we. Right. <laughs> this is the beginning. The beginning of a, tr a crazy climb, sirloin climb. It is it, the whole route is it's all about a, a black diamond climb, and it kind of goes way up here, right to the top. It's hot, <sighs> sweaty, but when you get to the top, there's a lake. I'm gonna go for a dip, and we're gonna shred down a nice blue flow trail. Just gotta be careful, this is a two-way trail, so someone could be coming down. Right, <clears throat> see ya. Look at that. That down there, not right there, but over there, that's Creekside, Whistler Villages around the other side. Ah, oh, so beautiful. Feels like we've been climbing for about, what, two hours, but it's been an hour and a half. And we haven't, we've got somewhere from down in the valley to here, but we've got so much more climbing to go. Not even near the trail that we want to be riding. A little shameless plug, right? The way I found this trail, this route, I've heard of it before, but Without the local knowledge and being at home, kind of went onto the Commute app on my mobile phone or on my desktop just to 
find who's done the trail, what loops have done it, like who's done the loop. I basically just downloaded the GPX file, synced it to my Garmin, my head unit, and then just followed it from there. Anyway, enough of that. We've got so much more climbing to go. Joey, how are you feeling? You feeling, uh, yeah, he's not feeling very, very wise. Right. <clears throat> Do more climbing. Right, I was a bit worried because throughout the time I've been here, people have been saying that Lord of the Squirrels is shut. But slowly as the uh, week has gone on, it's, it's finally open. So welcome to Into the Mystic, which is a trail that starts right there, but which we're going to go down. And Lord of the Squirrels ex exits right over here. But Lord of the Squirrels is open. Be prepared for some snow patches and hiker bike on and on the rocks. So that's another trail. There's going to be some snow up the top, but that kind of just adds to the adventure. Uh, another thing to point out up here is no dogs and no e-bikes allowed on these trails, which uh, you've got to take into consideration that if you bring an e-bike, you won't be able to ride this part of the mountain. And what I've just seen, right, which is quite unnerving, it's this. Did you bring the bear spray? So, uh, Joey's finally caught up. What did you think of that bit of climb? That was disgusting. <laughs> did it, uh, did it hurt? Yeah. It's the steep little bits on the corners. They just kill. Done in. The flies are horrendous on this, this year. I've never experienced flies like this in Whistler. Not there yet. Oh, yeah. The flies. <laughs> Crazy. Camera bag, full suspension bike, climbing, doing everything. Hey. What we go through, what, he, what they go through is crazy. What Joey goes through is nuts. Hey. Anyway, moving is better than standing still because of the flies. Listen, listen to this. Nothing, nothing. You cannot hear anything. It is so quiet up here. It's like, it's majestic. <laughs> well, literally I'm riding into the mystic. So I, I've been climbing for at least 45 minutes now. It's just been zigzagging, zigzagging, zigzagging constantly. The trail's amazing, trail's beautiful. It's just, a, it's a good climbing trail. It's just super smooth, super flowy. It's like a flowy climb, but you get to these little punchy corners, these like chicanes that are, ooh, take it out of you. Okay, I've run out of water. I'm pretty sure we're pretty high up. That water down there is gonna be fresh. So I'm gonna go fill my water bottle up. This water is refreshing. Beautiful. Can't beat mountain water. Wow. It's emotional, really, because I've just, well, Joey and I have literally just climbed up the steepest climb that we've ever had to do on a mountain bike. But when you presented with this incredible view, oh man, this is why I ride bikes, 100%, just to get to locations like this. 
Mountain bikes are incredible. Look at it. There's bears down there. Over there, you can see them. Do you want a top tip? Oh man, top tip, right? It's super hot. Oh, top tip. Oh, that's so good on my butt. Oh, that's so good on my bum. So good on my bum. Oh, All right, top tip. Ice or snow. Jam it in your helmet. Suck it all in there. Like that, like that. And then when you're climbing, it's so refreshing. It just melts. Sometimes you get an ice headache. Sometimes you do, sometimes you do, and sometimes you do, you get an ice headache. But it is so refreshing. Holy moly, that's a hell of a climb. Hell of a climb. Oh, I need my sandwich now. I'm pretty hungry. We're at the top. Oh, my little pro tip of putting snow in your helmet. You get such a headache. Hang on. Oh, but it's refreshing. We are at 1,778 meters. And my little graph right on my computer here is showing green down, which is amazing. Look at this, look at this. We are gonna go down through here, past that lake, past another lake, and then descend into Whistler Valley off this mountain. I, I, I just wanna get away from these flies, man. These mosquitoes, they're everywhere. Anyway, let's go find a spot for lunch. Now I'm gonna talk some stats about this trail because you might be interested in doing it one day and I highly recommend it. Just make sure you like climbing. Oh man. This is dreamy! I love it! Oh, the lake, the lake! <laughs> Finally made it to the lake! I'm gonna have a sandwich and I'm gonna have a dip in this very arctic water. It's gonna be freezing. It's so clean. I reckon I could drink it, but probably shouldn't. But anyway, <sighs> should I go naked? Should I, should I? <laughs> no, someone might come and see me. So we're in the lake. And it's bitterly cold. <laughs> Joe got in and he screamed <laughs> with excitement, saying this was incredible, but the mosquitoes, mosquitoes are for real right now. They're everywhere. There's so many. There is so many. We've been in the water now for at least five minutes in this Baltic. <laughs> my God, I'm so cold. <laughs> ow, ow, my feet, my feet, ow, my feet. <laughs> That's incredible. This descent is incredible. It's super flow, it's tacky, it's fun. It's not 
super, super challenging like it's a double black. It is a blue flow, but it is. Oh my God, dude. Fun. Let's crack on. Look at it. Oh my gosh, my legs are getting a workout. After that climb, and then just bra, bra, bra. Oh, my thighs are on fire. But I don't, I can't, I just don't want to stop. But it's a fucking incredible trail. To be honest, it's probably one of the best trails I've ever ridden. No lie, no lie. I flipping love it. And on the hardtail as well, it's just brings a whole new level of roughness. <laughs> Mother of Moses. That, that's it. That is the end oh. of that. Hey, that track was awesome. <laughs> the last bit, he was actually hanging out as a hoop at the top. He was dead. So was I. Anyway, let's get to the lake at the bottom. There we go. The end. The end. The end is here. Lord of the Squirrels. Basically, it's not just Lord of the Squirrels. You have to ride a few trails to get to the top, so like into the majestic, uh, into the majestic, into the mystic, majestic. I am so tired right anyway. There's, you gotta hit a few trails to get to the top and it is a lot of climbing. 1,457 meters of climbing. It's about 39 kilometers. We did it in eight hours, but we were filming quite a lot. So that hence why well, that took a long time. But I did say, four to ten hours depending on how fit you are talk about that it is a black diamond climb just to let you know it is a big big climb but the descent is well worth it it's incredible and a dip in the lake is well needed after that big ass climb hopefully you enjoyed this video let us know if you want us to do some more epic rides like maybe some like trail checks or something let us know in the comments down below i'm uh, i'm done in joey Joey's even more done in. Look at him. <laughs> anyway, thanks very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. See ya. Beer. Beer. Not a tea. I need a beer. <laughs>